<laughs> steamer. We used a freezer, a small freezer, and did the connection ready to all the connections. And there's the steamer. And Randy, do you want to open it or so we can see how it works? It's already we checked it once, already up to 150. And there's your steam. So when the hay goes in in the nets, works like a charm. Thanks, Randy. Okay, so we're trying with a uh, flaked hay. Just started the steamer. Uh, I put the hay in. So there's about. Um, four to five flakes for Marshall and three flakes for Ollie. So that's gonna take probably about 45 minutes just to get up to steam temperature. And so I will be back with that. So I've had the steamer on for an hour and 10 minutes and both feeds are in. I used uh, hay bags with the flakes this time to um, separate them, easier to get out, all of that good stuff. So I will uh, turn the steamer off and it stopped. Now I'm going to open it and remember to not put your face in it right over the steam because it will be very hot. And there we go. The hay is steamed. They love it. They absolutely love it. Uh, Marshall's cost, crop has completely diminished. So it's worth every effort. Doesn't take much longer than normal. And I'm super thrilled with it. So this is Ollie's. I uh, took it out. And as you can see, it is still steaming. And yeah, looks good. One of, another benefit of the steamer unit is that I can put their beet pulp in, heat it up, because it's going to be pretty cold, and then put their minerals in after that. It'll be nice and toasty. <laughs> 